Want to look better? Fix your rounded shoulders first. You've probably heard it far too many times before, but fixing your posture truly is as important as people make it out to be. Obviously, everyone knows that good posture is a critical part of avoiding chronic back pain, but few people stop to think about how much of an effect your posture actually has on your physique and your image. And no, I'm not just talking about extreme cases of bad posture, in which you might look like the hunchback of Notre Dame. I'm talking about even the most subtle cases of rounded shoulders that many of us have simply from hunching over our phones and desks all day. Whether you realize it or not, these rounded shoulders of yours aren't making them look any rounder. In fact, they're doing the opposite. With rounded shoulders, your entire appearance will look more narrow. Your chest will look more caved in. Your back and shoulders will appear to lose much of their width and your shoulders will lose much of their round 3D shape because of how far forward they're being pulled. Luckily, fixing your rounded shoulders is actually very simple to do and I'm about to tell you exactly how to do it. Before we can understand how to fix your rounded shoulders though, we first need to know what causes them to round in the first place. As you probably already know, a bad hunched over posture is what typically leads to the rounding of the shoulders. However, this is just a surface level explanation as the real cause of the rounded shoulders is the muscle imbalance that results from being in this hunched over position for too long. Basically, when you're leaning over on your phone or your desk for long periods of time, the muscles that pull your shoulders forward, which are mainly your chest and front delts, become slightly shortened and contracted. Meanwhile, many of your upper back muscles, which are responsible for pulling your shoulders back, are slightly stretched because they're being pulled forward. This means that over time, your chest and your front delts become stronger while your upper back muscles become weaker. This creates a major problem as your back back muscles become too weak to offset the pull of your anterior muscles, meaning your back muscles keep stretching while the muscles on the front of your body progressively become tighter. Apart from your shoulders rounding forward, this can additionally lead to a wide range of other problems as well, such as your head and neck jutting forward, a loss of shoulder mobility, neck pain, upper and lower back pain, and in extreme cases, chronic headaches and difficulties even breathing. Fortunately, once you understand what caused your shoulders to round in the first place, the solution to reversing the problem becomes pretty clear. This leads us now to the solution for fixing your rounded shoulders. Now, obviously, paying attention to your posture and making a conscious effort to sit upright and avoid leaning over for long periods of time will do wonders for you over time. However, simply avoiding what caused the problems to manifest will not be enough to actually fix your rounded shoulders. In fact, you don't even necessarily have to stop your bad posture habits either, as long as you do things I'm about to tell you. Since we said earlier, that your rounded shoulders are the result of a muscle imbalance, we simply have to reverse this imbalance to fix the problem. This means that you'll have to stretch the muscles that are too tight while also strengthening the muscles that are too weak. Let's start with stretching the tight muscles. These, of course, are the muscles on the front side of your body, mainly your chest and front delts. For the most part, there is only really one stretch you're going to need, which is a pec stretch with external shoulder rotation. To do this stretch, you're going to need to place your elbow and forearm against a pole or wall at shoulder height. Trying to externally rotate your shoulder by pulling your forearm and hand as far behind you as possible without moving your elbow. While doing this, you should also be slightly rotating the rest of your body in the opposite direction, putting a massive stretch on your chest. 
Since we're trying to physically lengthen these muscles, you're gonna wanna be holding these stretches on both arms for between 30 and 60 seconds. Now, since these muscles are also disproportionately stronger than your back muscles, you may want to consider training them less frequently than your back muscles if you wish to see the quickest results. However, you should still absolutely be training them, otherwise you might just end up with another muscular imbalance in reverse order. This leads us to now address the second step, which is to fix your weakened upper back muscles by strengthening those. More specifically, you're gonna wanna focus on strengthening the muscles that attach to your scapula or your shoulder blades. After all, rounded shoulders cause your scapula to protract, meaning they're constantly pulled and angled forward. If you strengthen the muscles that retract the scapula, your shoulder blades will return to the normal position, which will naturally pull your shoulders back as well. This means that the main muscles you're going to wanna to train are your rear delts, rhomboids, and the middle region of your traps. Fortunately, you don't need to know anything about these muscles other than the fact that they externally rotate your shoulder and retract or pull your shoulder blades closer together. Therefore, you'll wanna be doing plenty of exercises that mimic these exact movements, such as reverse flies, face pulls, and any dumbbell or machine row in which your elbows are flared out from your sides or that really forces you to pull your shoulder blades together. And as an added benefit, all of these exercises I just mentioned will also be stretching your anterior muscles, meaning you'll essentially be tackling both causes of your rounded shoulders at the same time. Now, before we end this, I wanna to touch on something important that I mentioned earlier, being that you may not wanna train your anterior muscles as much as your upper back muscles. Simply put, it's a fact that most people have disproportionate and overdeveloped pushing muscles compared to their pulling muscles, probably because no one ever misses chest day. More specifically, almost everyone has much stronger front delts than they do rear delts, often by a wide margin. This means that even though you may be focusing more on training your upper back muscles, you might still be developing your pushing muscles too much to really allow the imbalance to dissipate. To ensure that this is not an issue, I'd highly recommend following the general rule of doing two pulling exercises for every pushing exercise you do. In other words, if you do 10 sets of presses every week, try doing at least 20 sets of rows each week as well. And there you have it, man, a quick and simple guide to fixing your rounded shoulders and avoiding all the problems that accompany your poor posture. Even if you're too young to think about the possible chronic pain consequences you may face down the line, fixing your posture is as much about improving your physique and image as it is about just avoiding this pain. Therefore, it should be in everyone interest, young or old, to correct this problem before it progresses into something worse. Thanks for watching this video and as always, get busy, get after it, and God bless.